this video is sponsored in part by Vivea Shoes. So Vivea Shoes are completely sustainable, 100% um, eco-friendly, which I like. Um, you can machine wash them. Um, they feel like a sock, but look like a shoe. Um, they are so comfortable. Coming from someone who has flat feet, bunions, just bad feet in general, um, these shoes are oh, worth it for sure. Now that back to school is over with and the kids have their shoes, it's time for mama to splurge a little and have something of her own. You know, you always need shoes. So I'm gonna share with you guys two of my favorites. So first up we have these white sneakers. The style is Glenda, and I love how cute these are. They're just super simple, high top whites, um, pink on the interior, and these things couldn't be more comfortable. I know white shoes are kind of scary, but again, you can just machine wash them. Um, I usually throw a little cleaner on them and toss them in the wash. Super easy to take care of as well and maintain that bright white. Um, look next up and I left it in the box because I love how pretty and just nice these uh, shoes come packaged it says step into conscious comfort and then when we open it up it's got a nice little logo for the Vivea brand um, what else is in here um, this just talks about don't dry clean don't bleach dry in the shade and cold water wash, that's important. So it comes with a little info um, paper. These are the Jenny uh, black sneakers. I love that they're just a plain like sneaker loafer, super simple and nice to wear with pretty much anything. And I just love, love these. Um, they're so comfy. Again, everything stretches um, with your foot and really just fits totally like a glove. They are very true to size, um, no matter what size you are. So I am a size eight and a half to a nine, and I prefer a larger size for sneakers, so I got both of these in size nine. I also have a 15% off discount code, Alley15. I will drop it in my description box, as well as all the info below about all these shoes and the website itself, so go check it out. Let's get into the rest of this video. I wanted to sit down with y'all today and talk about how in a month I balance being a flight attendant, a wife, but most importantly, a mom. My gosh, that video was so long ago. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that have been with me for a while and have been with me as long as that video has been around, welcome back. For those of you that are new, and don't know me, my name is Allie or Allison and I am a flight attendant for a major US domestic carrier. I no longer work at a regional. Um, if you see my other videos, you'll, you'll know. Um, but I did transition from a regional airline to a major, couldn't be happier. I have been with my current airline for three years, um, just made three years. I actually go back to my recurrent next month which is our yearly retraining that we have to do um, that's required by the FAA. But I thought I would do an updated video on how I balance being a mom, wife, and a flight attendant um, so many years later. Um, some things have changed um, as far as my support system at home and some things haven't changed and my kids are very resilient. I am a mom of two. Uh, my son is nine now, and my daughter, gosh, she just turned seven uh, in August recently, So, which is crazy to me. They were three and five when I started. She had just turned three, uh, or yeah, had just turned three when I started um, this career um, at my previous airline, but this career in general, this industry, uh, rather. So yeah, they've been along for the ride, and my biggest piece of advice with being a mom and a flight attendant is that you have to have a support system. You just do. You gotta have people in your corner to help you when you're working um, with your kids, uh, whether it's school pickup, drop off, um, it could be a daycare, you know, or a family member, a good friend, um, really anyone. If you have a husband or a significant other, them as well. Um, 
really just it's a juggling act but motherhood is a juggling act I feel like um, it's just a little more juggling <laughs> or one more thing to juggle also I am no longer on reserve as I was in that video so instead of when I showed y'all that calendar in that video um, just using this as a reference uh, basically I was on call for the days that I was on call for and I had my days off at my current airline I am a line holder now so what that means is I'm not on reserve anymore I'm no longer on call I've held a line now almost a year and November will be a year that I've held my line so I was on reserve for about two years just over two years and it really wasn't that bad um, I stuck it out and I'm happy to say that I have consistently held my line and what that means is I have my trips and I have my days off so and contractually with my airline we are required the way that they build our schedules we are required to have a minimum of 13 days off it could be more it could be less it just depends on what I want to work um, and thankfully this career allows you to be flexible um, it <laughs> quite honestly it's I don't know any other job that you can have 16 to 20 days off and still make a decent paycheck ultimately that's where you want to be is off reserve and a line holder so that you can have a little bit more control over your life and being able to be home more so let me get into my support system um, some things that have changed actually about a month after I made that previous video um, the one where I was at my regional my dad actually passed away so he is no longer um, excuse me he's no longer um, able to help out which is fine because I still have my mom she's amazing she has been oops hang on this is my husband hold on one second anyways as I was saying um, my dad's no longer around but I still have my mom she is amazing uh, she has been my biggest uh, support er this whole time ever since I switched careers from being a hairstylist to being a flight attendant um, mainly because my dad was a pilot for those of you that don't know and that's obviously what got me into aviation <laughs> and what made me fall in love with it and ultimately choose this career for myself <clears throat> but also for my family um, because there's no other job that allows you the flexibility that I have with mine and be able to fly for free my whole family flies for free um, so I get to show my kids the world and yeah just be able to be home as much as I am the longer you're with an airline the better so I have my mom I also have my husband um, he's still in the picture <laughs> I still keep him around even though we've been married 11 years 11 and a half actually long time <laughs> uh, I still like him <laughs> I'll keep him around he's amazing uh, he's a very good man and he holds the fort down still at home he's probably better than I am at holding the fort down at home <laughs> but um, anyways yeah so he's amazing I also have my sister-in-law still that I mentioned in my previous video she doesn't help as much anymore um, because mainly because my mom kind of has taken over especially since my dad passed she's been wanting to spend obviously more time with family and she enjoys having the kids around um, obviously because she gets lonely um, so she enjoys that and I enjoy that for them and her because they have a really good relationship so thankfully I have people who I have people in my life who love my children and are very involved in their family members again your support system doesn't have to be family members necessarily but they can be people who are like family we also have friends and family who friends of family I should say that are basically family themselves who would help out in a heartbeat if they needed to does that make sense so it's really just a balancing act but I am also a commuter which means that I do not live where I am based I am based in Dallas Fort Worth Texas I live closer to Houston excuse me in a smaller town uh, of the Magnolia Tomball area if you know you know <laughs> uh, which is about 40 minutes north of Houston so it's about a three and a half four hour drive um, 
flying can be really difficult. And I've talked about commuting in my previous videos and what it means, uh, so be sure to check those out. But for now, I wanna keep it strictly about balancing being a mom and how I have to get what it takes for me to work a trip. So I can't just hop up and go to Houston for my flights, which sucks. And actually pretty soon I'm gonna be Houston based. I got my transfer. We are opening a base in Houston, so October 1st. I'm no longer going to be Dallas based and I will no longer have to commute, which will be really, really nice. Um, it'll be just like a 30, 40 minute drive to the airport, it'll be great. So uh, anyways, let me back up. Um, because I commute, that means that sometimes I have to leave the night before a trip starts. So if I have an early report time of like 9 a.m., I'm not, I don't want to chance, or even 7 a.m. even or earlier, I don't want to chance trying to get on a flight or not getting on a flight and not being able to make my show time um, of 7 or 9 a.m. So I'll fly up the night before. Also, coming home could mean that I'm not going to make it home in time to get on a flight uh, on the same day. So like this trip, for example, started later. Uh, my sign-in was at like 2 p.m. and it gets back though i get back from this three-day trip at like 11 45 at night into dallas which means that i have to then drive home uh or well there wouldn't be any flights so i am gonna drive i've done it before <laughs> don't don't worry for me um and if i feel like i need to take a nap in the crew room before i start my drive i might do that um because we do have a crew room a sleep room i should say in our crew room to rest at if we need to so we'll see how I'm feeling, but I've made that drive late at night like that plenty of times, um, especially being on reserve. And it sucks, but I, when I'm done with a trip, or when I was done with my reserve block of days, I was ready to go home. I want to see my babies. I don't want to be here anymore. Like, I enjoy my time at home a lot more, um, especially now that I have more seniority to be able to hold more days off. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how I juggle it. Um, one thing I should mention as well is when you have children, obviously we know they get sick. They get sick. What happens if my mom's out of town and my husband can't you know, watch them because he has to go to work and he doesn't get as much time off as I do or whatever the case may be and you're the only one who can provide care for your child. We have FMLA. Um, which is the federal something. I, it's been a long day, I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> but whatever, we have FMLA, you can Google it. Um, and that covers you for whenever you need to call out sick for a trip. Um, you just call out sick basically and then you would code your hours through your FMLA so that you don't get points. Because if we call out sick, we do get points and so many points add up to being fired, basically, termination, and you don't want that. So, and when your kids are sick, you can't help that, especially if you're the only one who can provide care for them, and you don't, you can't go to work because you need to take care of your child and be there for your child. So we do have FMLA, which is nice. Um, that's another way to be able to not have to go to work if you can't, you just, you just can't. It's just one of those things, life happens, kids get sick, and you have to make tough decisions. Um, sometimes you're paid for your trip if you have sick hours that you've accrued. Um, if you don't, then it goes unpaid, um, so you do have to kind of bite the bullet on that a little bit, but ultimately being home with your child and taking care of your child is, is your number one priority, of course. Um, and it just hurts my mama heart if I'm out on a trip, of course, and they're sick, but obviously I can't control anything once I'm gone. Um, but it's nice that FMLA is an option for parents and people who need to be the primary caregiver for their child when they're sick. And it's just an added nice thing to have um, as a backup for whenever something happens. Um, some people say, you know, that it's how can you leave your family? People still sometimes ask me that, or if I mention I have kids, some people are like, oh, that's gotta be so hard, you know? And at this point now, I guess I've just gotten used to it, um, but I've always been used to it. Like, I don't feel like it's hard for me to leave my children. I'm just, I'm just not built that way. Uh, I've always worked um, since they were little. 
um, infants, you know, and my mom watched them when they were teeny tiny, and then they went to daycare, and now this, you know, now they've started school and everything, so it, for being away from them for me is not difficult. I enjoy my time alone. Um, I usually spend it chilling or getting some good food out in the city that I'm in or making a video for you guys. Um, so I enjoy my time, my alone time, and thankfully it's enough to where I'm like, okay, I'm good, now I'm ready to go home and be off for a little bit, and then after I've spent too much time home, I'm ready to come back, and it's it's a cycle. So you do get into your groove and you find what works for you. I would 100% recommend this career for any moms. Uh, you've gotta have support, obviously, like I mentioned, of your husband or whoever. Um, just make sure you have a solid support backup system that you, know, you can call them when you need them. Or rely on them and trust them with your children um, and yeah it's it's not that bad honestly sometimes I still get comments but not as much it doesn't happen as much where people bash me being away anymore and I would never tell someone that you can't do something or make it work if it works for you great if you don't like it keep scrolling or move on I don't know like it is what it is like we choose our paths in life and just the path that I chose for myself my children are fine they are used to it they sometimes miss me when I'm gone sometimes they don't it's and I mean it's just it is it's just that way sometimes they're used to it you know well I hope this helped <laughs> um, that's pretty much it I uh, just wanted to give a little update since I had a few people requesting it and yeah, I'm gonna shower. I'm actually on a layover here in Vegas, but it's not very long, so I'm just slam clicking and chilling. Bye for now, and I'll see you guys in my next video.